Welcome to the Dashboard Effect Podcast. I'm Brick Thompson. And I'm Landon Oaks. Hey, Landon. Uh, this morning, we wanted to talk about a topic that comes up from time to time with our clients in the data world um, that we've recently sort of had a change of heart on, and that is using commercial data pipeline tools for pulling data into a, a data lake or a data warehouse. Um, mm. For years, we've built our own. When, back when we were doing SQL Server, you know, traditional data warehouses, uh, we liked having the granular control that we could get there, doing our ETLs, uh, and now in the data lake world, uh, same thing. However, we're finding that the tools are maturing a lot, and in some cases, it's just quicker and easier and not even that expensive to use them as opposed to building your own. Uh, for many years, it definitely was more expensive than building our own, but uh, now the opposite is sometimes true. And we've been using a tool called Fivetran. We've been doing a proof of concept. Looks like we're going to adopt that as one of the tools that we use. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. What are, you, what are your thoughts on uh, on the two and on Fivetran in particular? Yeah, definitely. So, it, you know, it's been, a, it's, it's been a shift for sure in thinking for us, right? Uh, to your point, for years, I was very much in the firm, in the camp of building your own custom connectors. It's going to be cheaper. It's going to be better, more flexible. Um, one thing we've noticed, though, is, you know, with the more popularity of APIs, right? So one thing to think about is back when traditional data warehouses were more a thing, a lot of databases. Those those aren't too hard to work with. They're pretty easy. Yeah, like a SQL Server database. Yeah, yeah. SQL Server, Oracle, all Whatever, that. Yeah, you yeah. can just connect and pull tables. Exactly. Yeah. So that, that's a lot easier to make a custom connector for. Um, but APIs are getting more and more popular. Uh, and they're harder, right? You got it. Now you're getting into coding. You got to know Python. You got to know how to deal with the uh, rate limit management. There's a lot more to it um and so one thing yeah that we've started to realize is that these these pre-connecting tools they they have a team dedicated to these apis that that are you know constantly updating their connectors getting things going so it just saves a lot of time and then of course the pricing has come down quite a bit from when they're first starting off so it, it seemed like the logical path, right? Um, use those when you can. However, one thing that we've noticed is there's a lot that those still don't support. It's yeah. shocking how many systems are out there. I know. Well, we should tell a story. So two years ago, we adopted a new framework for how we are building our pipelines. Actually, about eh, it was about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And we said, you know, once we've built 100 of these for 100 different systems, we'll probably have, you know, 80% of everything that we're ever going to see covered. And so when new clients come on, we'll just pull them off the shelf and use those. Uh, and it has not happened. I mean, we have we have close to 100. And it seems like, you know, every month we have a new client that's got some new system we haven't seen before. Yeah. And in fact, uh, do, doing our POC with Fivetran, the first four systems we came up with to test, they didn't have connectors for, even though they have 700 of them. Yeah. So there are a lot of them out there and being able to roll your own, so to speak, uh, is is nice to be able to do. Also, you, you know, sometimes, and actually Fivetran does a good job of this, but sometimes when a third-party company creates a connector, they don't hit all endpoints or mm -hmm. pull all the data the way you'd want to. Yeah. Fivetran is uh, really quite good at that. As you said, they have teams devoted to each API so that when the API is changing, they can they can fix it. That's another huge advantage for for any company and for us, because those APIs do change. You know, version yeah. two comes out and you need to adopt it. And we've had situations where all of a sudden the pipeline is just broken because yeah. they, they changed the API and now we're yeah. scrambling to fix that for the client. Exactly. Yeah. It makes it harder to know, you know, like what my team is going to be spending their time on, right? You yeah. know, we have a brand new API they're trying to set up. This one changes. We got to circle over here. So it does really simplify the overhead of keeping data up to date when you can use something like a Fivetran, you know, when you can, right? Yeah. But there's always going to be those scenarios where they have a really niche system or even, um, a, you know, a feature is added to a current system and Fivetran has, you know, maybe a five, six month turnaround time, but you need that data now, right? Right, right. I mean, so, five or six months turnaround time for a new system or... For just like a new, let's say they add a new module onto, I don't know, Service Titan, right? Yeah. That, that has um, a great new set of data that's going to really enhance your reporting, but there's a turnaround time for Fivetran. Um, yeah. So, you know, you have that option to get it right now, because as long as it's in the API, you can go get a custom connector for it. 
Yeah. So the advantages of using a third party are often you can connect and pull data immediately. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to to do the development time yourself. Uh, if there are changes in the API, if the company's a good big one, like Fivetran is a good example of that, they're in contact with these companies. They're getting a heads up when APIs are changing. They're getting out ahead of it. Um, sometimes the cost is less up front, or at least you can spread it out over time. So uh, for us, we might charge a client for the development time to build a connector up front. It's that one-time cost. And then ongoing, it's just the cost of running it, the compute and storage yeah. um, uh, on the platform it's sitting on, usually Azure for us, but sometimes Snowflake. Um, so yeah, you can spread it out with them because maybe they're just charging you that monthly fee. You know, over a year or two, it may end up being more expensive than having developed your own, but you're also getting that service of them staying on top of it, yeah. fixing anything that's breaking, you know, th those types of things. So definitely yeah. worth considering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, that's the thing that, that, um, it's easy to overlook, right? Like if you do a custom connector, it's great, but you do need somebody who, who can get in there, knows, knows yeah. the code and get their hands dirty. Well, so. you have a team of guys and a ticketing system yeah. and, you know, when something goes wrong on a client's machine, hopefully we get alerted before they even notice, but then mm -hmm. your guys are scrambling to get that fixed before it's impacting business in any way. Exactly. So, yep. yeah. Yep. And so I guess you can still end up with that, that with a five tram, tram. something's going to break and they have to fix it, but they, you know, they've got 700 engineers working on it. Yeah. Like something like that. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you bring that in house, you've got five tram that will help support that. If you have a custom connector, it's more overhead, right? Because now you, you know you got to have an engineer who yeah. can support that. So we're looking at other systems too. We don't know enough about them to even name them or say anything mm -hmm. good or bad about them. There's a there's an open source system that a lot of people have developed for. We're looking at maybe we can contribute to help with that. We'll continue to develop our own pipelines. We're I think we're doing four or five this month that are yeah. <laughs> ones we've never <laughs> seen before. So yep, yep. that continues as well, but. Uh, I would encourage anybody who's technical who's watching this and, and creates pipelines to, to consider that. Look at, look at these tools. Yeah, yeah, I agree. All right, anything you want to add? No, I think that, that about sums up our thinking. Okay, we'll wrap it here then. Thanks. All right, thank you.